pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just be You control and the steps you're taking I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Good morning, Erie High. I'm Destiny Cologne. Welcome to Royal TV. Today is Thursday, October 27th. We start the day with trivia. Here's Logan Lybrook. Hi, I'm Logan Lybrook, and welcome to Royal Trivia. Today's question is, how many sides are on a standard yellow school pencil? Stay tuned and we'll be right back at the end of the announcements with the answer. Join the Erie High School Marching Band this Saturday the 29th at Vest Stadium. The band will take the field for the championship competition performance at 4.15 p.m. Admission is $10 for adults, $6 for students, free for under five. In sports, the boys freshman football team takes on McDowell at 6 p.m. Go Royals! The girls basketball team will be having a spaghetti dinner fundraiser the dinner is on Saturday, November 5th, here at Erie High. For tickets, please see any returning girls basketball player or Coach Brown in the parenting office. You can win a basket full of goodies just in time for Halloween. Our marketing students have the details. Hi, I'm Gus. I'm Jess. We're from marketing. We have a Halloween basket full of goodies for you. All you have to do is buy a ticket to our raffle. We're raffling off two baskets with candy, socks, carving kits, shirts, and much more. You can get five tickets for a dollar. Tickets will be sold in the lunchroom every day through the 26th. Good luck. Seniors, it's time to order your senior gear. Short sleeve t-shirts are $9, dry fit are 10. Long sleeve tees are $10, while 12 for dry fit. Hoodies are $21 and 25 for dry fit. See Ms. Newell in room C106 for order forms, and if you have any questions, all orders must be turned in by November 10th. Seniors, it's time to fill out your FAFSA application. If you have not filled it out yet, you need to make an appointment with Ms. Schott as soon as possible. Make sure you have your social security number ready when you meet with her so you can complete the process. FAFSA is required to apply for federal student aid so you do not miss out on loans and grants for college. So make an appointment with Ms. Schott today. You can email her directly at aschott at areasd.org. Red Ribbon Week is the nation's oldest and largest drug prevention awareness campaign. For the next five days, we will bring you a message related to this year's campaign. This year's Red Ribbon Week theme is celebrated live, live drug free. The theme is to call to action to speak out in support of healthy choices. It also serves as a reminder that we are all empowered with shaping the communities around us through positivity, bravery, and strength. Picture days will be held for underclassmen on October 31st and November 1st. Retakes will be held on December 6th. Seniors, your pictures will be taken November 7th, 8th, and 9th. Students, if you have been gathering points for your behavior from your teachers, you can score free snacks from the school store. Ms. Domowitz has the details. Good morning, Royals. I'm Ms. Domowitz, and I'm here on behalf of the BR3 team here at Erie High School to talk about the school store, where you can redeem the points you've been earning for showing royal behaviors like respect, responsibility, and resilience. Today is Thursday, so the school store will be open to students during third lunch. You may only visit the school store during your regularly scheduled lunch with an appropriate Smart Pass. If you would like to visit the school store, you must have at least 50 points in your account, and you will redeem those points before you can make a cash purchase. To visit the school store from the cafeteria, please go to the stairwell that leads 
from the cafeteria to the 300s and have a pass approved by the staff member monitoring that area. Your pass will have a 10 minute time limit and is limited to 10 students at a time. Miss Nikolai and her amazing marketing students can't wait to see you at the school store. So keep being as royal as you can. Be responsible, be respectful, be resilient, and rack up those points. Josh Healy joins us today for Animal of the Week. Hello everyone. This week's animal is the King Cobra or Ophiophagus hanna. This snake is native to southern and southeastern Asia. They are within the family Elapidae. Their diet consists of small mammals, lizards, birds, and even other snakes. They are known for being extremely venomous, having enough venom to take down a full-grown elephant. But that doesn't mean they're aggressive. They're shy snakes and usually avoid humans. King cobras are also not true cobras. This is because they're not part of the genus Nausea. They are called cobras because of their hood. They can grow up to 18 feet long. King cobra populations are becoming vulnerable due to habitat loss and poaching. That was it for this week's animal. Today we close the answer to today's trivia questions. Today's question is, how many sides are on a standard yellow school pencil? The answer is six, and here's why. For more than a hundred years, pencils have been putting a hex on American schools. While they come in a variety of shapes, the six-sided hexagon is the most popular. It's easy to grip and won't roll off the table. But that's not the main reason they're so popular. Let's explore why most pencils have six sides. For the answer, we turn to a man with pencil lead in his blood. I'm a sixth generation family member in the, in the pencil industry. Charles Berelsheimer is part of a family that founded New York's Eagle Pencil Company in the 1850s. He's still in the business and knows the history. Pencils were almost produced one by one by journeymen who created small square or rectangular pieces. When production evolved from handcrafted to machine made, manufacturers began cutting pencils from wood slats. The number of pencils they could produce varied on the shape. They found that by having a hexagonal shape, so you could actually get an extra pencil out of a standard width of, of slats. So a typical slat for pencils produces maybe eight round pencils, but not and hexagonal pencils. Manufacturers do make round pencils, mostly for artists. There are other shapes, but for efficiency and comfort, you can't beat the hexagon. If you look at the standard manufacturing process for pencils, it really hasn't changed for probably about 120 years. For more than 100 years, when it comes to making pencils, there's six sides to every story. Those are your morning announcements from all of us here at Royal TV. Have a royal day.